My blood alone is here. And we're going to talk about the formable nations in the new expansion for Switzerland, Italy, and Ethiopia. And also the super secret path that sadly everyone already knows about. I'll go over it anyway. So first of all, Italy. The simplest approach with Italy is to form greater Italy. We are going to make Italy great again. So once you've gone down the fascist path of Italy, you've worked down the focus tree. You get no decision that unlocks, which is greater Italy. For this, you need to control the coastline of Yugoslavia. You need Albania. You need part of Greece. You need Cyprus. You need to control this southern state from Switzerland. You need to control Malta. Control Corsica. You also need control of Savoy as well. Now, you can proclaim greater Italy, which is practically full control of the Mediterranean, apart from North Africa and Spain. And then you can proclaim greater Italy. It will gain you cause and all the lands that you require to form this. Uh, the names will change. You'll gain extra victory points. They'll become Italian. You'll gain 15% organization for your entire army permanently, which is massive. War support plus 10%, which is okay. And compliance gain 0.05%. And you've now become greater Italy. This is actually a really good achievable too, because you are really girthy and you have the massive potential to grow with this. Uh, it, is, it is pretty spicy. Just to summarize, it's mostly the islands you need. Crete and uh, across the coastline of Adriatic. For the most part, most of the inland territories you don't actually need because other areas I'm not called. I think this is a pretty worthy path to go down for Mussolini's historical Italy. It is a super powered Italy. And to be fair, it's not an easy one to do too because there's a lot of islands you've got to get and a lot of those you have to get off the allies as well. If you follow a historical Italian path and join the German, this should be where you end up. Okay, the Alpine Confederation is the path you need to go down for Switzerland. I believe you can do it on the far left of the focus tree, but you can also do it on the far right of the focus tree as well. The far left of the focus tree is probably the most spicy path because you conquer loads of lands in northern Italy where all the factories are. You get chunks of France as well, and you, I guess you expand your borders territorially. Where if you go down the fascist path on the right, and there you go, a really scary colored fascist Switzerland, the Alpine supremacy. Now let's look at a kind of a more fun path. Now we have Ethiopia. And with Ethiopia, if you complete the national focus, develop the horn of Africa, you unlock a new decision. Here we go. Unify the horn of Africa. And it's as simple as it says. If you manage to conquer all of the horn of Africa, all these breakaway states, all of the colonies, all the Italian land, you can unify the horn of Africa. You get a bunch of cores and a single claim on this island as well. Also unlocks a bunch of decisions down here. And if you go for these, you can gain more cores. So you gain this island, which is not a biggie, but it is what it is. And you gain the southern territories, which are a bunch of states down here too. And you also gain the upper Nile as well, which I believe is just these two states here. Which is big because a lot of these areas have lots of population and gaining core territory is going to help you in the war effort. So naturally, when you expand out, you have the ability to core, which is always super fun. Now, if you make your way down the left side of the focus path, if you rally around the emperor and the emperor stays, you can restore the empire of Aksum. Aksum? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Probably not. You need to control Eritrea, all the Somali peninsula, and also Yemen. If you do that, the Aksumite empire is formed and you get to move the capital to another place I can't pronounce which is here in the north. What's kind of cool at this point is you can either adopt like a Rastafarian route where you gain loads of influence, which is really strange, but it's really cool too. You get to puppet a bunch of nations in the Caribbean. Alternatively, you can go for the one true hair of Solomon and you gain a bunch of uh, claims in Egypt as well as a core on Palestine. I'll show you for instance this path. So you basically approach all the independent Caribbean nations and ask them if you want to become our puppet. Cuba says yes and also uh, the UK has given us some land as well. They're given us Jamaica. Thank you. The Imperial Cuban territories. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And there's one extra treat as well. If you control Palestine, you can form the Empire of Zion. The Empire of Zion has been formed. And if you've not already moved your capital, which I had before, you can move your capital to Jerusalem. There's so many cool formables for Ethiopia. Ethiopia's got so much flavor. The spiciest path overall is the communist path for Ethiopia, which you can form the African Union, which is basically a nation that will form a unified Africa. And in this case, you can invite people to your African Union as well, like Liberia, for instance. Invite them to a mutual defense pact and also invite them to an African central bank, which can do this with all the independent African countries. As you can see, though, there's not many independent African countries. Invite Liberia to the executive council and they've joined. And now we have the option now, if you spend 200 political power, you can just fully integrate them into the African Union. Kind of messy this really, because you have to boost the relations quite high and most of the time they're not really up for this. But overall, the ability to hit a button to annex a nation, I guess that's pretty cool. And there you go. I immediately make them a puppet straight away. It doesn't annex them, it just makes them a puppet, which I suppose is still pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, last 
last, but definitely, definitely, definitely not the least. The hidden path that sadly is not really that hidden anywhere because everyone has made a video on it at this point. But if you go down the path of the struggle of the Ethiopia, undermine the deuce, conspiracy in the shadows, form a monarchy, go for an absolute monarchy, and seek papal support, agents of the church, strengthen the papacy, and give full support for the papacy, you will get the hidden pope path. So monarchy, absolute monarchy, papacy, papacy, papacy. Now it's holiness versus the king, and you give more power to our holiness. And there we go, the pope has ascended. Pope power. And now the hidden pope path has been unlocked, which is uh, all the way tucked in the corner. See these bits here? These weren't, were here before. So this one, you can form the papal states. Wow, formable nation. Uh, declare war on all the heretics. Ask basically Iberia if they want to become your puppet state and form the Catholic dominion, which gives like some insane bonuses. Portugal says yes. Spain says yes. The Italian public is concerned. <laughs> We live in a theocracy. When did that happen? And there you go. We've got all these nations as puppet states. Amazing. To be honest with you, this is peak formable nations. But is it? Is it? Is it? No, guys. Of course, it wouldn't be Italy unless there was a Roman Empire path. If you conquer and control all of the regions around the Mediterranean, you have the ability to form the Roman Empire. But get this. You can kind of do this as a fascist path. You can do this as a monarch path. And you can also do this as the papal state path. That's right, guys. I am the Roman Empire led by the Pope. I guess I'm a theocratic empire? I guess I'm Roman. Am I empire? I don't even know anymore. The cool thing is too, you unlock all these cool things. Every one of these has the ability to core territory. So core all that land, which, which once again is amazing because the ability to core after when you've done a formable nation adds you an extra incentive to continue playing. This is absolutely amazing. You thought the hidden Pope path was good? Well, now you've got Roman Pope. Roman Empire Pope. The holy Roman Empire. What? This is probably the wackiest alt history scenario in 1936. Any of these formable nations, guys, you'd like me to see make a let's play out of? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. I'll see you later. Whoa, what? This video here is the one that people watch next. YouTube thinks you'll like this video. This is the one.